A newly elected deputy chairperson of the AU Commission, Ambassador Thomas Kwesi-Korte, says although the AU has moved to leave the International Criminal Court, an exit should be an individual national decision. In an exclusive interview with GBC24, Mr. Korte said the AU as a body is not party to any treaty with the International Criminal Court. The AU at its 28th session in Addis Ababa took the decision following a divisive debate. Nigeria and Senegal opposed the withdrawal. South Africa and Burundi have already decided to pull out, accusing the ICC of undermining their sovereignty and unfairly targeting Africans. Ambassador Kosi Kote, the first Ghanaian to have assumed the position of deputy chairperson of the AU Commission, said the decision to leave the ICC is non-binding. The treaty establishing the International Criminal Court was signed by individual states in their sovereign individual capacity. The AU as an organization is not party to the treaty. If the AU countries want to leave the ICC, they have to proceed as individual countries. In the context within which they entered, they have to come out in the same way. He also touched on Morocco's readmission to the Union. Morocco left the OAU 35 years ago because it sought to claim sovereignty over that land. So when the African Union Treaty, which says that colonial boundaries must be respected, Morocco was going against the grain. So Morocco left in a half. Now, after being away for 35 years, I think it must have dawned on Morocco that perhaps it may have been a mistake. So it came this time without conditions. Mr. Korte was grateful to President Nane Kufado for endorsing his candidature following his nomination by ex-president John Mahama. He attributed this gesture to what he terms as Ghana's political maturity.